But I've got to say, well done to the seat planners because sitting behind uh, the feather on the top of Anne's head was a genius move. <laughs> it was. It was hilarious because when Meghan came um, for, for the Jubilee or the Queen's a funeral, I can't remember which one. Um, there was a big candle in front of her, so the, the camera couldn't get to too many photos of her. And this time it was a bright, bright red feather. And that was just, it was too hilarious, wasn't it? It was just really funny. And the other the other thing that was so lovely was watching uh, William and Catherine's three children. I mean, George did a great job of holding the trail train that went behind his grandfather and at first he was all quite hunched you know like and then he suddenly remembered he had to be upright and strong and look sort of soldier like and he he was very good and um charlotte of course princess charlotte is absolutely got our eye on everything telling her brothers what to do looking like that and sort of saying you know move here do this um, and looking stunning as a mini mother to sort of look about her. And then Louis, who was very well behaved in, in the cathedral, extremely well, because it must be deeply boring for somebody who's just turned five to sit there very quietly and listen. Um, and he got a bit jolly afterwards, but I thought they were gorgeous. And I think as well that it helps with the feeling that the monarchy will continue despite everybody um, being concerned about it and some um, people trying desperately hard to smash it up, including Harry and Meghan, I'm afraid. Um, but you see, you see King Charles and you see um, a tremendously feeling, hardworking um, Prince uh, William. And then you see this, the sweetness of of Prince George, and you know that's enough to see and feel comfortable. Because we in London, we in the UK, you know, we really need a monarchy. We love them. We feel happier with them. 